Hello YouTube and whoever is following me Today I would like to show you how to fix your leaking vacuum pump If you own a 6 cylinder Volvo the 3.2 or the T6 like I do, the turbo version Take a look at your vacuum pump I have a flashlight and it's located where it says Germany that's your vacuum pump take a look with your flashlight if you have any leaks around it if you have this kind of leaking from the vacuum pump like I show you next on the pictures you need to buy this kit that's your part number which has the seals, the new bolts and the new connector you don't need to buy the whole pump, it's an expensive pump just buy this kit to replace it to gain access to the vacuum pump you will need to remove the engine cover you will need to take out the battery the battery cover, half of the tray box, the air filter out, disconnect this connector, the muff connector at the bottom, the air duct, it just lifts up. Move this bracket just a little bit towards it to get access to one of the bolts for the pump. Let's start. There you go. Next, we have to remove this door for the battery cover.
So now you can clearly see that you have four clips all around. Now it's held by two screws. One over here and one and one over there and you can't access it because the bracket is in the way. So we have to remove move away the bracket for the air conditioning compressor. It's uh, 13 and it's 10. Once you remove the two bolts, the bracket gives you just enough room, if you pull on it, just enough room to reach that bolt. Up until now, to get access to the pump, I had to remove the engine cover, the air cleaner box, cover for the battery, the connectors for the battery, the mounting hardware for the battery that holds the battery, and the battery cover box. And this gives you access and remove the two bolts for the bracket. And now you have access to the pump. Ten millimeters. So use this extension. The two bolts for the pump are removed. Now we're gonna pull on the pump. Pump is out. Want to, wanted to give you a bigger picture of what's going on here. All the parts and the tools, and the pump is ready to get cleaned and put new seals on it. This seal is already leaking. Just by looking at this residue means it's slowly seeping and then all this dust is accumulating
Brox 25. Now we have to remove this plastic piece. There is one tub on this side, one tub on the other side. Now the kit comes with the new plastic, new bolts and the two seals. looks like the new seal is updated version this one is round the old one and the new one is more square
Now these two seals look identical. Now when you put the pump back on, make sure that this piece aligns with the groove in the car. So I will take a look at the groove. So the angle should align with the groove. It has this outlet for the fumes, the gases, which for some reason I thought that go down to the ground, but it, it's actually connected to this cover and seems like it goes inside and then it just leaks along the seam here. And if you look on the car, it just leaks all over the place. So what I want to do, there is room on the ground over there, I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to connect the battery, a hose that runs down to the ground. And I have some old tubing from the windshield washer system of a Volvo 240 and I'm going to use it. To run it to the ground just like that from the battery and this way you don't get this mess. From top to bottom, over here.
and this part I will just tape it off like this. Now this is a good time to check your battery level to use the ionized water and this is a good tool to remove your caps this is a washer from the oil drain plug on the 240 Now the battery is held by this clip like that and this pin 10 mm screws in and it's located just like that. This is what you do when you secure the battery. The air filter box, it actually has three mounting points. As I said before, you have the groove, the clip over here, and you also have this rubber, rubber groove, which goes the groove, the clip, and the rubber groove that goes in here. 